Is it worth paying 1500 PSF for Lumina Grand EC? Hi, I'm Denise Tan, your property strategist. With Jaden in Jurong at 2007 PSF at 88% sold and Ultra EC being 89% sold, is the West region the next hot spot? Let's compare the pros and cons between Ultra and Lumina Grand since they are just side by side. In terms of land pricing, Lumina Grand and Ultra EC both have a similar land price and break even cost. However, with GST increasing to 9% in 2024 and inflation, the material costs for Lumina Grand are likely to be higher as compared to Ultra, North Gaia, Ternet, and Copen Grand. The land size for Lumina Grand is also slightly bigger and it will have 512 units. Ultra's TOP will be 2026 while Lumina will be slated for 2027. As Lumina Grand is also closer to the Bukit Batok Road, it is likely to be noisier as well as this is a road that a lot of lorries and trucks pass by daily. And with the number of BTOs launching in Tenga, this road is still likely to be noisy in the years to come. So if you prefer a quiet facing, do pick units that are inward facing instead. Based on the drone view, it also appears that Lumina Grand may have blockage in terms of view all around because it's very close to Block 433C Bukit Batok. Once again, this project gives me an even more claustrophobic feel. At least Ultra has some stacks that overlook the Block 432 car park as well as the Bukit View Primary. Hence, these are some of the few cons that Lumina Grand has over Ultra. Now let's look at Ultra sales. My client is a first-timer that secured a 4-bedroom on the balloting day and as you can see, there are only 10 units of 4 bedrooms left and 5 3-bedroom units left. This means that the demand for 3 and 4 bedrooms are very strong. However, only half of the 5 bedrooms are sold. This could be due to the price point as they are starting from 2.2 million. Buyers age 35 earning an EC cap of 16k can only get a loan of 1 million. Which means the rest have to be topped up in cash and CPF. Wow, buy EC got to top up 1 million over dollars yeah? Is the current income ceiling of 16k still feasible then? Even if the income cap is raised to 18k, the maximum for an EC under the MSR ruling is still about 1.1 million which means the rest has to be forked out in cash. Is it really worth forking out over 1 mil for a 5 bedroom EC? Let's take a look at the recent transactions for 5 bedroom units in the nearby Seoul Acres as Wonderville EC doesn't have 5 bedrooms. Keep in mind that this was stacked 42 in Seoul Acres that was priced around 1 mil plus in 2015 and has been resold for almost 2 million with profits ranging from 700k to 851k. However, buyers buying a 5 bedroom are entering at 2.2 billion now so that's almost double of an entry pricing in just 8 years. If buyers really require a bigger size unit, the only other options would be the 22-year-old Lander Housing Villa Verde that starts from 2.4 million or the Freehold Pavilion Park from 4 million onwards. With an 88% seller of Jaden on its launch day, you can be assured of the buyer's confidence with the West being the next central business district and Tengau being the new Bidadari or Bishan. Being a new township and with ACS moving over, I believe that profit for future Lumina Grand owners are likely to be quite high. In my last video, I had analysed how Seoul Acres 3 bedroom and 4 bedrooms make 20 to 30% more profit as compared to Westwood residences. And the main reason is because Seoul Acres is surrounded by many nearby MOP classes, which Westwood unfortunately doesn't have. Hence, if this were to repeat, Lumina Grand's profit is likely to be decent as well, as there's only Copen Grand and Ultra next door as competition. It is likely to mirror the condos in Pongo where there's always a healthy supply of upgraders from the nearby BTOs. So guys, buy an EC where there's a lot of new BTOs nearby, then you always have a steady supply of buyers to sell too. If Lumina Grand's 4 bedrooms are launching at 1.8 and up, can future owners exit with 400 to 500k profit? The average 5 room BTO pricing in Bukit Batok in one of the flats near Lumina Grand was launched around 385k and the current selling price is around 850k. This means that the estimated sales proceeds will be about 600 plus K to 700 K. And at a price point of 2.3 million, the down payment including stamp duties are 659 K. Hence, because of the upgraders of the nearby BTOs that can afford the down payment for Lumina Grant in future, we can safely say that a profit of 4 to 500 K will be highly likely. Stay tuned for our part 2 on floor plan comparisons. Do hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time!